Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, September 7th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KTC News Brief. Louisiana's death toll from Hurricane Ida now stands at 15. Four of those are from carbon monoxide poisoning, and there are five parishes that are still without power, those outages affecting about 435,000 people. Right after the storm, that number stood at more than 1.1 million. So while we've seen lots of improvement, a lot of really good work in terms of power and water and in terms of uh, cell phone coverage and so forth, there's an awful lot of work to be done. Entergy says power has been restored to 60% of its 950,000 customers who lost power during Hurricane Ida. Restoration times have been extended to no later than September 29th for the hardest hit communities. The company is also exploring other options to expedite the power restoration process. The state has now revoked the licenses of the seven nursing homes that evacuated to Tangipahoa Parish. Additionally, LDH has also pulled the facility's Medicaid agreements. The nursing homes evacuated more than 840 patients to a warehouse to ride out Hurricane Ida. At least four people died. The patients inside the warehouse were said to be sleeping on the floor during the storm. Governor Edwards has already promised aggressive legal action if the state's investigation finds the owner of the nursing homes was negligent. The EPA is taking action to support critical marine operations in, in and around Port Fouchon. The agency issued a fuel waiver to allow all vessels to use ultra-low sulfur diesel. That fuel is typically reserved for only some vessels. The agency issued the waiver, citing the extreme and unusual fuel supply circumstances. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Hey, Rob. Hey, Jim. Well, a nice, quiet start to our Wednesday. A sun and cloud mix. Temperatures lower 70s. We get into the lower 90s. There'll be a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, but rain chance at about 20%. Cool front on the way as we get into Thursday, and that's when it's going to start to feel really nice. Temperatures still in the upper 80s to near 90, but more comfortable humidity, so your feels like temperature will be just like the actual temperature as we head into Friday morning could see readings getting down into the low to mid 60s, lower 70s as we start our Wednesday and then uh, pushing 90 degrees that heat index up to near 100 once again with that slight chance of an isolated shower or storm for Wednesday afternoon and evening. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we completely zero out the rain chances. Haven't been able to do that for quite a while. Feeling good with temperatures in the low to mid 60s for Friday, Saturday mornings as well. And then gradually the heat will come back along with the humidity going into next week. And of course, a better chance of scattered showers and storms at that time as well. That's it for news and weather for right now. Thanks so much for checking in.